Welcome to this tutorial on digital audio synchronization. Digital audio synchronization is essential when devices are connected digitally. Unlike analog audio connections, when digital audio signals travel between devices, such as a door and external hardware effect processor, they must be synchronized by a common clock. Like cogs in a mechanical system, they must mesh. Devices that we regularly need to connect include doors, digital audio interfaces, standalone analog to digital converters, digital mixers, CD players, preamplifier channels with a digital output, and effects processors. In this context, we are not talking about digital audio signals travelling down a computer connection, such as USB, Firewire, Thunderbolt or Ethernet. Signals in those situations can usually be considered to be integrated within the environment of a computing system. Digital audio signals consist of long sequences of individually discrete measurements of amplitude called samples. These samples are taken at very precise intervals. They are like super precise join the dot pictures. The number of samples per second is expressed as the signal sample rate or frequency. For example, there are 48,000 samples of amplitude per second in a 48 kilohertz digital audio signal. Digital audio devices require a super accurate clock to ensure the precise timing of samples. If they are operating alone, they use their internal clock. But in a network of connected devices, timing errors can occur which at best cause subtle audible distortion and at worst produce audible clicks and pops and even complete dropouts. It is therefore essential that all devices in a digital audio network conform to a common clock known as the clock master. The clock master device is set to a sample rate which all other devices must follow. Word clock is a timing signal passed between devices on a digital audio network. One device is set as the clock master and its job is to generate and send a word clock signal to the other devices on the network, each of which are set to slave to it. This ensures that the timing of all devices is synchronised. Word clock is embedded in almost all digital audio signals or can be sent as a separate signal commonly referred to by the connector it uses, BNC. The word clock signal embedded in an AES-3 signal is also known as AES-11. When an analogue signal is converted into a digital signal by an analogue to digital converter working from its own internal clock, the timing of the samples are very precise. Almost all modern converters, the last 10 years, are super accurate. However, once converted, there are three primary conditions that can produce timing errors in a digital signal. They are jitter, drift and lack of sync. Jitter is sample timing irregularities in an individual digital signal and is most commonly caused by interference issues and electrical properties of AES, SPDIF and BNC leads as a digital signal travels between devices. The longer the lead is, the worse the jitter can become. Jitter is a problem for larger networks carrying signals long distances, but not usually a problem for the project or home studio. Jitter can also be produced by a converter or an effects processor, but new super accurate chips commonly used in modern audio devices have minimised it. Drift is caused by serious transmission problems in a lead or the clocks of two devices running out of sync with each other. This can happen if the devices are not adequately synchronised 
or one clock is operating less precisely than another. In this situation, devices in a network are operating independently according to their own clocks and are not properly synchronised. Clicks, pops and dropouts in the audio signals exchanged between them are inevitable. The same symptoms occur when the sample rates of connected devices differ. Let's consider a simple system in which an audio interface is connected to a door by a fast USB 3 connection. The audio interface has both analog to digital and digital to analog converters. Incoming analog signals are digitized and passed into the door where they are recorded, edited and processed. Signals which have already been recorded and those produced by plugins are sent back to the interface usually in the form of a stereo master monitor mix where they are converted back to analog to be sent to the monitors. The door and the interface are closely integrated and can be considered as one system. Although the door is in effect a slave device and the interface is set as the clock master with its clock regulating all the analog to digital door processing and digital to analog conversion there are no synchronization issues to resolve. Everything works well. But what if we add a new external effects hardware processor to this system and decide to connect it digitally? We connect the digital out of the interface to the processor and the digital out of the processor back to the interface. Typically, this would use a Toslink, SPDIF or AES3 connection. Now there are two types of signal that must be exchanged between the devices, the audio signals and the clock synchronization signal. In this situation it would be sensible to leave the audio interface as the clock master and the effects processor as the slave, synchronizing to the clock master. To achieve this you must make three settings on the effect processor. One, ensure its sample rate is set to the same sample rate as the interface. Two, set it to clock slave or digital clock mode. And three, select an incoming clock signal, BNC word clock or embedded. As we have seen, word clock is a timing signal passed between devices in a digital audio network. It is a square wave at the same frequency as the sample rate. Word clock signals can be transmitted in two ways. One, via a separate word clock connection which utilizes a lead with BNC connectors. Or two, embedded in an AES, SPDIF, Toslink or ADAT connection in this case, the word clock, or bit clock as it is known, runs in parallel to and at the sample rate of the audio signal. In our example, because there is no advantage in using a BNC word clock connection and our effect processor and audio interface may not have them, we can safely choose the embedded word clock option. Contrary to popular belief, Distributing word clock signals via separate BNC connectors does not produce superior synchronization. Fortunately, project and home studio owners rarely need to use them, and many of the pieces of gear that they use don't have BNC connectors anyway. However, when you have a one-way digital audio signal connection, such as from a microphone preamplifier voice channel with its own built-in analog to digital converter which is being connected to an audio interface and the interface is the clock master. The mic preamp has no way to synchronize to the system. There are two solutions. Number one, set the mic preamp as the clock master device and number two, send word clock from the interface to the preamplifier voice channel. BNC connected devices can be daisy chained, 
but the last device in the chain may need to be terminated to prevent the signal reflecting back down the lead. This is usually accomplished with either a termination switch on the device, hardwired internal termination, or a BNC T-piece which allows connection of a BNC 750 termination plug. There is a relationship between cable length and signal strength that determines whether a device needs to be terminated. If the manual doesn't give you any clues as to how this is to be done, it's quite possible to try out different options to see which allows the device to lock correctly without audible problems. Because jitter and drift only become audible problems when a signal is converted back to analogue, it makes sense that the final correcting of these problems is handled by the master clock device and that this device is itself the point at which signals enter and exit the central recording and mixing device, i.e. the door. It is therefore understandable that many believe that not only should your audio interface contain excellent converters and an accurate clock, but also jitter and drift elimination circuitry, also sometimes known as clock recovery. So to sum up, here is some practical advice. Unless you are using a digital mixer as the centre of your network, set your audio interface as the word clock master. If you need digital audio connection, buy an audio interface with digital I.O. connections that match your other devices and a BNC word clock output. Regardless of the price, most audio interfaces have excellent converters but not all have good jitter and drift elimination circuitry. Use embedded word clock where possible and use BNC word clock connections only where absolutely necessary. The script for this tutorial with accompanying screenshots can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com and finally please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded and please do click on the ads of interest to you we're a free resource and they help to pay our costs thanks very much for watching